And once you're satisfied with having captured everything, you export to Darwin CSV. And if you've neglected to enter anything that's required, it will tell you, in which case you cancel the export, fix what you need to, and export again. Now this is telling me Texas is not found on the allowed list, and this is the problem I was having before. So I go to my countries. It's OK. They deserve it. They yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like this. I go to my countries, and I go to Texas, and I see it's in there. So I'm not sure why this is happening. Um, but if you pretend with me, it should work. Oh, come on. I'm just going to ignore the errors that are giving me. And then I can see the output. Come on. I can see the output in the Salix folder. So I scroll down, find the CSV. It didn't find the CSV, so I'm going to pick another state. Actually, I'm going to reparse. Let's try this again. I don't know why. If you're having any trouble, you find this is a, a program that would work for you, but you're having trouble, Daryl Lafferty, the programmer for it, is a very nice man who would, I'm sure, be willing to answer any questions that you have about it. And I included in the folder um, a PDF of a published paper that they wrote on this whole process, how they managed it. And the whole take-home message is that you can't automate the process yet, but it's semi-automated, and that saves some time. So this is worth a read if you're interested. And there, it did pick up Illinois. So just for argument's sake, I don't want to spend much more time on this. You would export. Here it's telling me that the latitude is out of range for the United States. That's a nice warning to know whether the coordinates that you've entered or the coordinates on the label are incorrect. <laughs> oh, it's not going to let me do it if I don't have. Finally. <laughs> Sheesh. So you can see up here under view, output preview, and it shows you all the fields. Or you can go to your folder where I put the data. Does anybody have any questions about this? It's just another tool, and it's free. So to use this for a different taxon, one would sort of simply be changing some of the fields represented and the taxonomic authority. Yeah, so in here, in the folder with all of the text files related to the information behind the user interface, you see one that's called plant list. And I believe that is what is informing the, the user interface or the program. There's also new species here, so I don't know if this is Yeah, it's this. So I suspect if you can figure out the structure of this text file, you can replace it with any names. <laughs>